Despite, I thank the member for Indian Call and the member for Longman. Thank you uh, very much, Mr Deputy Speaker. Uh, as we head to the next stage of the budget process and the budget bills uh, head towards the Senate for consideration, I'd like to take this opportunity to present a challenge uh, to those members opposite, members of the Labor Party and the crossbench. Uh, the reality of what we inherited was debt heading towards $667 billion, an interest repayment of a $1 billion a month on the debt, and if we do nothing, the debt burden for every single person would be over $24,000. So that is a significant challenge for our nation. And I would say to members of the Labor Party, use the opportunity to be constructive instead of obstructionist. For every dollar that you propose that we don't use as a saving in the bills that go before the Senate, propose another dollar of savings. Because if you don't, uh, it is the next generation of Australians that will pick up that bill. And if you can't bring yourselves to find another dollar in savings, be honest with the next generation and say they will pick up the bill. Say to the next generation of Australians that uh, they will inherit a country where there is less money, $18 billion a year less, to spend on roads and schools and hospitals. Right. Say to the next generation of Australians that they have to pay higher taxes. Uh, and we know with the Productivity Commission's recommendations that uh, taxes would have to increase by 21 per cent to fund uh, the ageing of the population. So if we don't take measures in the budget, it's likely the next generation will be paying at least 21 per cent higher taxes. So I would say to members opposites, be constructive, uh, contribute to the debates and offer alternative savings, but otherwise be honest with the Australian people.